Hello you guys, welcome to the reveal video. So Joel and I decided to move for now to Portugal. We are just outside of Lisbon. I'm not gonna say like my exact location just because obviously that's unsafe to put on the internet so I'm not gonna say exactly where I am. It is so beautiful here. We just got here a few days ago but I just wanted to make an intro for this video because this is kind of the airport vlog and like the moving halfway across the country process so I just wanted to insert an intro before I start the video. But yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna be wondering like why Europe? Why Portugal? And honestly, we didn't really know where to start our journey. We knew we wanted to move somewhere different and we both have never been to Europe. So we were like, you know what, why not? Like, why don't we just start somewhere? And I am Portuguese, my dad was born here and my mom is Portuguese as well. So felt like the perfect place to start. We found the most perfect Airbnb and it just kind of all felt magically into place. And we're so happy, like the air here is just so fresh and so different and I'm so in love with it already. Yeah, so I'm in this Airbnb for a couple of months and then we are moving Airbnbs. So we're just gonna be traveling a bit in Portugal and obviously as Canadian citizens, we can only stay here for 90 days at a time. So we honestly don't know what the future holds, but we're gonna try to get visas or me and Joel can actually apply for a passport. Like I can apply to get a Portuguese passport and he can apply to get a Polish passport since like that's where his ancestors are from and everything. So I don't know, we're gonna live here, I guess, for as long as we can. It just depends on if we can get the visas, if we can get the passports, and we're just gonna kind of figure that out while we're here. So for now, we <laughs> just have this Airbnb for a couple months, we're moving Airbnbs, and then hopefully till that 90 day period expires, we can stay here longer if we get like visas or whatever, but we'll see. We're just gonna kind of take it day by day, but I don't know where our journey is gonna take us. I don't know where our life is gonna take us. So this is like just a huge transition, honestly, from Vancouver and I don't know, something just feels so magical about this European air and like the lifestyle here, the people here, it just feels so amazing and like we're right by the beach. Our apartment literally smells like salt, like it smells like the beach. It honestly just feels like I'm in a dream right now, like it doesn't feel real. It's just the most crazy feeling and I just feel so happy. We've been jet lagged these past couple of days, so it's kind of just been like a transition period, but I'm really excited to like get into a routine here once the jet lag wears off a little bit more. But yeah, this is where we decided to come first and we'll see how long we can stay and where our journey takes us. But I'm gonna be living in Portugal for who knows how long. And yeah, making this decision was honestly just kind of like spur of the moment. We didn't really think too hard on where we wanted to pack up and live. Honestly, it was just kind of a no-brainer. I was like, why don't we just do Portugal, start there, and then we'll see where life takes us. Because it just seemed like the most perfect place to start. The weather is beautiful, and like, like I said, it just fell into place. But we're so excited. And if you guys live here, let me know down below in the comments what I should do, where we should explore. Um, that would be really helpful. But yeah, we're so excited to be here. I just can't believe this is real. And obviously when we were thinking about moving here, we got like so many signs from the universe, from our angels, and we just knew it was the right decision. But if you guys are thinking about making like a big life decision, sometimes it gives you a peace of mind to speak to like a tarot card reader or somebody who can give you like a reading, like a spiritual reading. So this video is actually sponsored by Oranum and on their website they have a bunch of spiritual experts who you can book a call with, you can book like a tarot card reading or an angel card reading or whatever you want, like just a general reading or if you have like questions about where you should go next in life, they can help give you guidance on that. They have a specialist on their website for pretty much anything that you would need like I said, like in these big life situations and when you got to make these big decisions, it really does give you the peace of mind to get a reading. Most of the time when you get a reading, like your angels will come through and give you a message and it's always something that you need to hear. On their website, you can video chat with live psychics and this is all from online so you can do a 
from wherever. They have so much on their website. They have like palm reading, energy work, astrology, healing, tarot card readings. They have everything. And there's also a bunch of expert psychics that always go live on their website as well, where you can kind of join in their live video and see what they have to say. So yeah, if you guys want to check Oranum out, you can sign up with the link in my description. And after you sign up, go and comment your username in the comments of this video. And I'm gonna be responding to 10 lucky winners and I'm gonna be giving you guys a $25 credit to Oranum's website that you can use for personalized reading or whatever you want. But yeah, thank you so much to Oranum for sponsoring today's video. Definitely recommend checking them out. Anyways, me and Joel are super excited for this journey ahead of us and i'm so excited to document this process for you guys and continue to make content and videos that inspire you guys and i am just so thankful and yeah i hope you enjoy coming along for this new chapter in my life and i'm so excited for what's to come and for the new videos that i'm going to be making but yeah i love you guys so much and enjoy the video We just said goodbye to my family and like I'm not gonna cry right now but I want to like I'm like getting so teary-eyed because <sighs> it's really bittersweet to leave like I know like we don't we're not sure exactly how long we're gonna be gone for and like what's gonna happen and so it was like so sad saying goodbye um, I literally cried and it's just like so emotional like it's not a goodbye it's more of like I'll see you later but it's like I've never left my family like this before because i've always been like near them like when i moved out of the apartment i was still like in the same city like it's not the same as like actually like leaving abroad so it was really sad and i just like have a heavy heart right now like i feel very like i'm like obviously so excited but like there's like a piece of me that's like it's sad it's it's, it's bittersweet in this moment but i know it's gonna be fine like we'll facetime and everything and madison and her boyfriend connor is also gonna come to visit us once we're there like in a few months so we'll see them then but it's just like i don't know i just never have left my family like this before so it's sad and especially my dog because he's only five months and when i get back he's literally gonna be fully grown so it's just crazy like i'm gonna miss them all so much like my heart just feels really like honestly like full of love because like people were doing stuff for me before i left and like it it was so nice and sweet but it's just like a sad moment right now i guess you could say but anyways we got some hortons flight boards and like half an hour ish like 40 minutes half an hour and we came all the way to the gate where they had a tim hortons because we were adamant on getting tim hortons before we go so yeah we haven't eaten anything yet it's around like 12 30 now so we're just gonna eat and then we're gonna go back to our gate and then board so yeah in Toronto we had to like do a half an hour maneuver to another terminal so we're already boarding in 20 minutes we just got pizza because we were hungry and we'd rather like have something now than on the plane and then we're just gonna get a couple snacks before we board so now from Toronto we're going to straight to Lisbon the flight from Vancouver to Toronto was only three hours and 45 minutes which is like actually so good like that's so fast probably because we were going like with the wind or something but it was a good flight overall. I would rate it like 10 out of 10, honestly. Not looking forward to this jet lag though. I'm really hoping I get to sleep on this flight. Me and Joel were watching Love is Blind on the way here. And it's, this is actually a really good season. So we, it was like keeping us really entertained. But we're gonna try to sleep from here to Lisbon. And hopefully we can sleep at least a few hours would be nice but we'll see because i also have so much trouble sleeping on planes it's just so uncomfortable if i get like super tired i'll be able to fall asleep but if i'm like in eh, then like i won't be able to force myself to sleep so we'll see currently 
currently at the gate. The flight is a little bit delayed because apparently the crew members, they're not here yet. So that's fine. As long as we don't have like another connecting flight because we're going straight to Lisbon now. So it's fine that it's delayed. If, if the other flight was delayed from Toronto to Toronto, then that would have been shitty because we could have missed this flight. But so we're chilling. doesn't really matter. I got my ramen squish mellow. You guys look at how cute this is. Madison got this for me for my birthday. It's actually the cutest thing ever. It's like a little bowl of ramen. And like ramen is our thing. Like both really love ramen. So it's like so cute. And I can use this as like a pillow because I'm going to try to sleep. Um, and yeah, it's just like so cute. And it's a squish mellow so it can like really like condense like smaller. But ladies and gentlemen, just a few short minutes. Tap Air Portugal flight 262 with service to Lisbon uh, will be ready for boarding. in Lisbon I don't know if you guys can hear me but it's currently 12.08 their time but it's like 3 a.m. in the morning for us so I'm feeling like really off and really weird right now which is like jet lag but I totally forgot and I was just like sitting here because we're just waiting for our baggages right now and I'm like why do I feel so tired and off right now and I'm like maybe because it's 3 a.m. in the morning I honestly like slept on and off on that flight for like four hours I was falling asleep for like half an hour at a time and then I'd wake up like it wasn't like a good consistent sleep but at least I was like taking little naps I was trying is that mine there's my luggage I'll just wait until it comes loops around anyways we made it I want to be like I'm so excited but it's hard to express that right now because of how tired I am and I feel just like really weird but other than that we're doing good I know once we get like a good night's sleep tonight it's gonna be a lot different but I think we're gonna try to get a phone plan um, before we leave the airport so that we can just have it for when we go and then we're all set for that. So we're gonna try to find one nearby before we leave the airport. Yeah, that's the plan. I just feel so weird right now. Like, you feel tired in here? Well, yeah. I know, but it, it didn't even click in. I was just like, yeah, I'm just feeling weird, but I didn't really realize why, but. It's from jet lag. Jet lag and it's fine. I've never been jet lag before, fun fact. And I've also never been out, like I've traveled to the US and I've traveled to Mexico, but other than that, I've never traveled like outside of those two places. Which is crazy. Let's go. Okay, go get yours. Finally got our carry-on back. We ended up having to check our carry-ons in because they were too big for the overhead bins. Like a lot of people had to do it. But um, yeah, it wasn't a big deal because they just did it for free for us. I haven't even shown you guys my airport fit that I put on. So I have this Aritzia romper. I'll show you in a sec. Um, and then I was wearing these Brandon Noble sweatpants or just like bootleg cut. I was wearing them on top of this romper and then I was also wearing this Aritzia crew neck with the sweatpants. But I got so hot so I wore this romper underneath. So I got to just take both off and now I have a brand new outfit on. So it's like such a good plain outfit because you can choose like hot or cold, you know? Like if you're hot on the top, you just take your top sweater off. If you're hot on the bottom, you just take your sweatpants off. Um, but anyways, this is the
We just arrived. We're just waiting for our Airbnb host and he's gonna come let us into the unit. Oh my god, it looks breathtaking here. I cannot wait to show you guys around. The ocean is right there and like the birds are just chirping in my ears. Like, is this not just magical right now? The beach is empty and it's literally hot. Like, oh my god, I cannot wait to explore. I might have to go in the water today, to be honest. Seriously? It looks it looks like it's fun. Feels like I'm in a dream right now, like it's so weird to me. Especially because like we're jet lagged and I feel really weird right now. It's like so weird. We're gonna get settled in the Airbnb soon. But yeah, we're literally here with our luggages. Like just waiting for him. We just made it to the Airbnb. It feels so surreal. Like I just can't comprehend it right now. Um, the Airbnb is like the most beautiful thing. We're right on the ocean. I don't know if you can hear the waves, but like the ocean is right there. Um, probably a tour of my next video. Oh my god. Here's all my stuff. I'm just like in a weird phase right now where I don't know what to do because I'm so tired, but I don't want to go to bed. So we're going to go explore a little bit, but I kind of want to change out of what I'm wearing because I'm just, I just feel gross, but I don't want to shower yet. I just feel like I'm in a fever dream right now. And like this feeling is so weird. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like out of body experience. Honestly, since I'm already gross, maybe I'll just take off my sweatpants and then just wear the romper. So then I don't have to change and I can just shower tonight. So let's do that we are currently at the grocery store this is like the grocery store that's nearby it's like pretty small but it has like all the essentials so we're just gonna do like a little shop quickly before we get dinner and go to the beach um because we obviously want to check out the beach and go for dinner um but we want to do a bit of grocery shopping before just so that we have like water bottled water and like just a couple of things that we're gonna need so that's what we're doing it's super cute in here though Just did a little grocery run. Um, the store is so cute. Now we're just gonna head home, drop the groceries off, and then we're gonna go for dinner, and then shower and go to bed because I'm so tired. Like, I feel crazy. We just did a little grocery run. Literally just got eggs, strawberries, bread, and butter because we just wanted to tie ourselves over until like at least tomorrow but also i realized that i think i lost my sweatshirt that i brought i'm so sad about it because i just bought it two like three days ago it's my ritzia gray crew neck i had it in the airport and i thought i brought it into the uber and i don't know where it went like it literally just disappeared out of thin air and it was on my luggage so i'm just like so confused when and where i lost it but it's not here and it's like the only sweater that I brought and so I'm really sad about it because I just bought it too. Like it was brand new and I really liked it. But I mean, it's just a materialistic item. There's not really anything I can do about it. Like mistakes happen like that and who knows what happened to it. I just wish I knew because it's just like a mystery. But it's fine. It's just a little disappointing. I'm glad it wasn't like a sweater that I had for a long time that like I really, really liked. That's like, it's kind of also a good thing that it was just a new sweater. You know what I mean? And like I wasn't attached to it yet because I just bought it. But anyways, we are going to go out explore the beach and get some dinner. And then I'm definitely just going to shower and go to bed because holy crap. I can't stop saying this, but I just feel so weird right now. I'm like exhausted. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, the weather is so nice. It's so hot. And I think tomorrow it's going to really just like soak in more. Because like right now we feel jet lagged and a little bit wonky. So tomorrow is gonna be like, it's gonna feel more real and like better, but let's go.